If you work a lot with remote servers using Putty or MOBA Xterm, and you're used to the typical Bash shell that looks something like this and isn't very interactive, this video will show you how to spice things up, add some color, add the path, the username, the CPU activity, the date, the host name, and run multiple shells all at once that you can adjust the size of using the mouse, as well as do file-based fuzzy searching with commands like this to limit the scope down, and that's using a program called FZF. And if you use Vim, you can take advantage of what's called Nerd Tree by pressing F1 here. That will load a list of the files on the system. And when you open up a file, it will look like this. You can do a tag browser, that was F3, that lets you navigate among the items inside of your, of your Vim file. And you can adjust the vertical separators of that as well. And if you have Kubernetes, and need specific information about your deployments or about your environment, you can do a Kubernetes get pods, for example, or any other Kubernetes command, and see specific information about the pods or resources that you have in your deployment. If you're interested in any of those things, this video is for you. And the good news is you only have to run this single command to get essentially all of those configurations set up, but you do have to run it in CentOS. I've also tested this in Red Hat and Fedora as well, and it works in those. And all this command does is run this script that downloads from GitHub and then runs that file. You're free to look at any of this. And actually I tried to write it in a way that was easy to follow. You hit enter to start the installation and then enter to confirm it. That should look like this. And I'm assuming you're doing this on a development machine that you just want to learn about these things on. You'll see that it loads Vim and downloads these plugins. And it downloads and installs OhMyZsh or OhMyZSH. And then once it's done, it will give you some help on what to do next. And so for example, you can just type in tmux at this point. You'll see this message if you have an older version of tmux because the CPU won't work on these older versions, but you can manually install uh, tmux and that will update it to the latest version and run that. So here, for example, are the commands to do that and I'll include these below the video. Now I run Windows and I'm running MOBA X term along with negative screen. Negative screen inverts the colors of the screen and that's what gives the colors that you see here. And these specific colors are actually solarized light and that's the inverted version of the solarized dark. Ultimately, it ends up looking like this. But you can change the colors, for example, of tmux, notice this will automatically fill in, or zsh through this file, tmux would be like this, tmux conf, and notice in the case of tmux, which is this line at the bottom, the colors are actually defined down here, so you can adjust them as you needed. And here are the color values, when they're inverted with negative screen, they look like this. And speaking of colors, all you have to do after the installation is finished to enable those colors is ZSH. That'll take you into the Z shell and you'll see this output here. All of that is controlled by this ZSRHRC file and actually through this specifically power level 9K color scheme. Now, once I'm in this file, if I hit F2, that will automatically locate this file in the file system. And then you can browse around through the various files in here. And actually we're looking at dot files to show them in nerd tree, which is what we're looking at on the left. Press shift I to hide them and shift I to display them. These are the various configuration files, bash RC for bash, vim RC, vim info, tconf, conf. You can adjust all the colors and other settings in these files.